Huh. I guess that wasn't all the glitches. Hello everyone, it's me, the guy who made- Wow, okay. Seems you guys really like when games don't function properly. So let's just... Let's break it some more. Remember that time I said I'd be watching? I'll be watching. I did. I took to the comment section to see what you all found out, and it turns out there's far more that Patch 2.0.0 didn't cover up. So how about we jump right back into it? This time with a jump instead of a spin dash. This one's pretty simple. All you need is a screw attack, some spicy curry, and the biggest, baddest Koopa. <laughs> Simply equip both of these items and jump. T-pose time. Bowser gets stuck in T-pose for the duration of the jump, the entire time until he hits the floor, or he gets hit by another player. As far as I know, this glitch only works on Bowser, as I tried it with a few other characters of different sizes and shapes, with no results. Surprisingly, this wasn't caught and made it through the patches. Guess he's just stanced up too strong. This is the stench! Yeah, I'm sorry. Let's move on. Look at this bouncy boy. He bounces! He's not gonna stop anytime soon, and neither will you if you want proper results. This is the bouncing assist trophy glitch. This one takes a little bit of prep, and if you aren't prepared, you'll need to go through some luck of getting the right spirits. First, you're gonna need a spirit configuration like this. At least one item gravitation spirit, but two makes this a lot easier. Anything else doesn't matter unless it interferes with the items. The character you choose will also determine how the trophy is affected. Simply go into training mode, go to a battlefield stage, and jump to one of the platforms. Spawn a random assist trophy of your choice. It doesn't actually matter what you choose. Spawn it toward the edge of the platform so that it falls off below you, and because of the item gravitation spirits, the trophy will be pulled in, and never stop. Though be careful of how much you move, because it might fall out of the range of the gravitation. If the trophy stops bouncing, you'll need to spawn another. Now if you watch closely as time passes, he, he will, will become, become one, one with the earth, earth and ascend, and ascend beyond, beyond his mortal coil. I mean, the figure inside will start floating out of the capsule. Be prepared to wait. A very long time. Like over an hour. The longer you wait, the further the figure jumps out of the capsule. Enough to where it's very noticeable. I waited for about an hour and a half on 1.5 speed for it to get this far. Show me your results. Do you remember the Luigi ladder? It's been in every Smash. However, in this one it doesn't exactly function. If you do the Luigi ladder and ultimate, the magnifying glasses will start to separate, then edge along the sides of the screen until they meet again at the very bottom. The two Luigis will actually keep going higher up, enough to where the stage doesn't exactly know where they are, and the magnifying glass does the solitaire effect. So when you finally stop, it's gonna be a bit. Keep going. Almost there. Almost. If you go and make a Smash game and take it to the last stock where you would normally get the game-ending Smash effect, it never stops. Enough to where the game finally doesn't know where you are, and the game just cuts to black every few seconds. This happens because Luigi's coin does no knockback. So even though Luigi is eons outside of the original blast zone, and there's damage being dealt, there's no way to kill. So... Enjoy... this, I guess. For the next glitch, we're gonna need DDD. Again. Seriously, dude, why do you and K will break everything? We need him for specifically his inhale. Again. We need to spawn in a smart bomb and throw it at the opponent. As the opponent is inside the explosion, Inhale them. If done right, the opponent won't move until the end of the explosion, teleporting directly into DDD's smug face. There's a lot to mess around with here, especially on different stages. Sometimes you can make characters clip through stages, jump off and get a free kill, or a bunch of other glitchy messes that can be played around with. Let me know what you find. This can also be done with Kirby as well, opening a few more possibilities with how light he is. What's that? Oh, so you like Kirby glitches. Is that what you like? Kirby glitches? Well, I got three of them for you right now. Let's start off with something real simple. You're gonna need Pink Boy and yeah. Snake. Start a normal match and have Kirby copy Snake. Then simply move around and go into the camera mode. If you take notice, Kirby's bandana will continuously move around, unaffected by the pause menu. This only works on Snurby and doesn't take effect to Snake at all either. If you try to pick a different copy ability with a headband or any type of moving part, it won't move in the pause menu. For whatever reason, only Snake's headband does this. 
This is one of those real simple ones that's just fun to mess with and does absolutely nothing. Reminds me a bit of that one Pac-Man glitch in Smash 4, where you pause and he flies around, ignoring the freezing of the pause menu. I like seeing the jiggle physics on them cloths. Mmm. So this next one is also pretty simple. Get a Kirby. You can get one for about $20 to $30 on Amazon. Go to the living room stage where you have Big, Big dog. dog. Wait for blocks to start falling down. And as they're falling on Kirby, use down special. If you do it right, Kirby will get stuck inside of the blocks until they just decide they're gonna disappear into the aether. This seems to only work with Rock Kirby as anyone else gets crushed into oblivion. So mess around. Let's see here. Oh, I see. Gross. This glitch lets Kirby be disgusting. You need another Kirby, throw away the last one, a metal box, and Wii Fit Trainer. Kirby needs to absorb the metal box and wait for it to begin wearing off. As it starts wearing off, you need to copy Wii Fit Trainer's ability. If you time it correctly, you get this. Now, how much metal remains on Kirby is actually dependent on how quickly or slowly you copy Wii Fit Trainer. The sooner you do it, the more metal Kirby will have, as you can see by this comparison. I did try doing this with ink as well, but not a surprise, no effect. Only works with the metal box. It also only works with the Wii Fit Trainer's copy ability, most likely because it completely changes the Kirby model, not like other copy abilities that just cover it up. Then I found out if you quit out of a match, he'll still be covered in metal on the no contest screen. Same thing if he wins, which in my opinion is a lot better. Alright, let's move on from Kirby to Ken. I think mine is broken, how do I return it? Ken's hand is on fire. Ken's hand is on fire. Ken's hand is on fire. This is the flaming fist glitch. Pretty simple to do, too, but requires some precise timing. You're gonna need a body of water where the characters will perform their swimming animations. Jump into the water and then jump out. As you're jumping out, do the strong shore you get, the one that causes the flames. You don't have to do the true input either. Just hold down the special button longer. Keep jumping in and out of the water, each time you land, try to do the Shoryuken. Eventually, if you land on the right frame and Shoryuken, Ken's fist will be on fire. Sadly, this won't affect any of his moves and is strictly visual, but it looks cool. Or painful. Your choice. Ken will keep this until he dies or does another Shoryuken. So have fun being on fire, if that's something you're into. Here's some big boys. Some very big boys. If you've ever wanted to make giant Pikmin, now you can. For a few seconds. Normally, if you throw Pikmin, they can either grab onto something or completely deflect it. One of these things being assist trophies, sometimes affecting how certain things act. However, with the Mother Brain assist trophy, they act big and tough for all of three seconds. You need to spawn in a Mother Brain assist trophy, and then toss some Pikmin at it before it grows big. As the brain is getting larger, so will the Pikmin. Then they'll either fall off or get hit by the trophy, immediately shrinking. This can also work on opponents when affected by mushrooms. Throw the Pikmin at the opponent, and then have them get affected by one of the two mushrooms, and they'll either grow or shrink depending on the effect. Though, just like Mother Brain, this won't last very long. But if you want to talk about things that are long, and I mean long, check out the distance on this Palutena warp. It goes pretty far. Now you may be looking at this video and going, Hey, who that? That not Oko? That no say Oko, who that? Who is that? I know. This was found by a friend of mine that you might know, P. Jiggles. I tried recreating this myself, and I still have no idea what caused it, and neither does he. What? Essentially, the warp distance of Palutena is now doubled, being able to go even further than before, which if learned, can either be a free SD or a godsend. Just look at that range. If you manage to find the cause of this glitch, send it to either me or P. Jiggles. We want to know. I can promise you that this is no type of hacker cheat, just something that happened completely at random. For our final glitch, we have something with Pokemon Trainer. This one was found by PK Beats. You're gonna need four Pokemon Trainers and a Pokeball with a Ditto. Or just go into training mode, it's probably easier. Pick a stage where the trainers in the back will be standing on these floating platforms, not a stage where they're standing at the back of the stage. Then spawn a Ditto Pokeball. Pretty much at any point of the Ditto's duration, reset the stage with L, R, and A. You'll then see that all the trainers are now on the same axis as the Pokemon, and can be interacted with too. You can't attack or do much else with them, but you are able to push them around and see all of their animations up close. Also, if you want to completely Thanos snap the trainers, just go into the training menu and adjust the number of CPUs. Some of them will disappear completely. So, uh, 
not a clue who's doing all of these commands on the other Pokemon now. Well, that's all I got. As usual, I want to thank my patrons for choosing to support me. And be sure to send me stuff on Twitter and Discord if you happen to find more glitches. Though I don't think we'll see much until patch 3.0.0. It's coming. With that, I'll see you all next time.